The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to go down uh, memory lane today, folks. Uh, Norm was going to Norm Winsky was going to be our guest today, but he's got internet problems. He's going to join us at eleven thirty to give his Super Bowl predictions that have been <laughs> about ninety percent right. So we'll see uh, what he has to say. But uh, the first chart I posted in the room, I posted a link for this uh, episode that I'm talking about here. Peter Lydes has put a, uh, a YouTube video out talking about the relationships between 1929, 1987, and where we are today. I wanted to share those with you because it's a part and part of the history. I met Peter in 1965 at the Clayton Brokerage. Uh, that was the only, there was only two places to trade commodities in Los Angeles at the time. It was Madoff Commodities downtown and then out at Westwood by UCLA was the Clayton Brokerage in the Howard Hughes building right next door to UCLA. Uh, also in that room, of course, was uh, Jim Twentyman, uh, Rick Barnes, Ricky the Rocket Barnes, uh, Roy Fassel, uh, uh, Eddie Horowitz. Uh, Eddie Horowitz was uh, an attorney, also was my one of my dearest friends, and he lived in the same building that Peter lived in. It was a beautiful condo building on Cohenga Boulevard in North Hollywood, and uh, they lived on the top floor, and Peter was a magician. He played the piano and the clarinet at the bars around the L.A. area, and he was very, very popular. And Peter, he, I know he's 87 now, but at one time, this guy, he was an Adunas, let me tell you. He's about 6'2", and uh, he is very, very athletic, had beautiful black curly hair. He was Greek. He had a smile that lit up the room. He had a personality that did the same. He's about as humble as human being that you ever want to meet. And if you will take a look at that video that I posted in there, the YouTube video, just look for Peter Elidi, Stock Market Cycles. There is no person on the planet, folks, and I'm including myself in this group here, that has studied the stock market more than Peter. He has something that I'm going to get a picture and show it to you. It is a picture of the Dow Jones Industrial Average from 1951 or 52, I believe, rolled forward on a thing that looks like a Torah. I mean, he's kept it, and he's log he logarithmic that when it really got crazy, but he still keeps it to this day, and that's over 50 years, and it must weigh 30 or 40 pounds, but it's rolled up, and each day he marks it by hand and still keeps it uh, to this day. But what he's showing you here, this is the 1929 crash. On September the 3rd, we made the top. In 38 days, we had the new moon, and then the market broke down, and it rallied back up. And then it started down really substantially on the full moon following, and that was uh, at 38 days. That's the key. And guess what yesterday was, boys and girls? Yesterday was the 38th day. I'll show you these figures, but 210.22 was the 38th day, and it didn't act very well, did it? So we got to watch this full moon coming up next uh, week, which is, I believe, on uh, Norm's birthday, the seventh, uh, sixteenth, or it's on the sixteenth. Norm's birthday is the seventeenth. So watch that. We want to watch it very, very carefully here. Now, hold on just a second here. We want to be looking at uh, what's going on here with these markets. They're so bearish, folks, that you just can't believe it. I posted a major sell signal this morning. But this is this what he's looking at. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back into history to show you because he was, you know, Peter was part of this history in, the, in, in Los Angeles because there was not much there. You know, back in the 60s, when when uh, Conti Commodity came in in 1969, a lot of the people moved over, and then later Clayton Brokerage closed the place. But that's what got this whole thing started. Now, I I was a part of that, a very small part, because I was at Drexel, but that wasn't until 1976. But I was trading at Conti from I started yes yeah, 68 through 72, and then uh, uh, yeah 72 76 is when I switched over to. Uh, Oh, no, was it 74? 74 is when I switched over to Madoff, and then for, for I was there two years, and then I went to work for Drexel. But let me show you the relationships of what we're looking at. Here, let me go. Let me show you. Here, here's
here's here's part of my history. I'll, I'll give you a little heads up on this, okay? I wrote this book, Astro Cycles, a Trader's Handbook, back in early uh, 1987, and it was right right after the crash. This was part of it. I mean, I wrote this book in uh, early August of that year, uh, early August, like the first or second, and uh, it was published right after the high was made on the 25th of August, uh, 1987, when we had five planets lined up. This was one of those stelliums that uh, Shane sh showed us about, you know, where the all planets lined up. This is like we had in March of 1989. Um, March of 2009. Anyway, the market broke down, and uh, I was a guest because Bill Griffith was on uh, uh, KW8, I think it was uh, FNN. FNN uh, in Los Angeles was uh, number 101 on the channel. It was on uh, all. It was on at one um, most of the day, but at one o'clock was the key time when Gene Morgan came on, and Bill Griffith interviewed people. And Bill was very interested in astrology, so he had me on. He had Arch on on, on the same week too, and uh, the market had uh, broken, and it, it was coming into it was September, which was the solar eclipse down there near the bottom of that chart that you're looking at right here and I told Bill I said Bill sometime during the month of um, October we're going to see a drop in the Dow Jones of more than 300 points in one day because the highest that we'd ever had before was 191 points was our biggest swing up or down so all I did was multiply that times 1.618 and make the prediction that sometime it would be down $300 well or $300 per uh, unit and that's exactly what happened so that that day that I did that, I sold over uh, I sold over ten thousand dollars worth of books of the Astro Cycles, the Trader's Viewpoint, just in that that two day period that I was on. But let me show you. This is what this is what I was what I was showing him. And this is all now. This is later because I have updated and everything. So let me get this thing up here so we can all take a look at it. You'll be able to see it here. I got this from somebody else, by the way, that did it for me. But you'll notice here, there was the high in the Dow Jones on August the 25th at uh, 2000, I think 2725 was the high. And that uh, that was the when we had the harmonic convergence, five planets together. Then we came down to the low. That next low was the solar eclipse. And the solar eclipse rallied up into the new moon. And that was on August the 2nd of, 2000, of 1987. Okay. Now, that was a 61% retracement of that high. On that day, I bought October auctions, options that were way out of the money. Because remember, these are big swings, but, you know, nothing like we're seeing right now. We've done that. We've done that two or three times already today. But on that day, on August the 2nd, October the 2nd, I put those options on. I paid almost nothing for them, and I thought they would go down below the previous week's low, down about, oh, maybe 60 Dow points was all I needed. I was doing S&P, of course, but this was the Dow, and that would have done what I wanted them to do. I held them, and you notice the options expired on the 5th. 16th of October, right on the low. The Dow was down 104 points that day, and I had made a huge, I was so happy I couldn't believe it. Well, happiness ended on Monday morning when I realized if I'd have bought November options, I could have multiplied what I made by 100 times. That's how, that's how much that was. We'll get back to more of this history stuff because two reasons. One, I like it, and two, always follow reason number one. We'll be right back, boys and girls. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the E-mini S&P here now, and uh, you'll notice here we had the beautiful three drive to a top there. You can see it, ABCD, coming in there on January the 4th. Guess how many days it was from the 4th until yesterday, folks? 38 days, just like it was in 1929 and just like it was in 1987. Now, I want everybody to raise their hand that can remember that, okay? There ain't nobody out there that keeps this kind of stuff. Only people that look at this kind of stuff will keep it, you know, but you don't, you don't see much of it on the Internet. I don't post it on the Internet because most people don't believe it, and it's not worthy of, uh, you know, me wasting my time to do that. I've had one, of the, one of the things I, I called Peter last night, and I told him how much I enjoyed it, and I said, how about coming on, my, uh, coming on the radio show? He said, Larry, unlike you, he said, I hired a business agent 22 years ago, and he said, I can't walk across the room without his permission. He said, I'll check and see if I can make an allowance this time. He said, but uh, that's okay. So I, that's all right, too. I'm not, I'm not worried too much about that, but I would like to have him on. He's very, very personable, and boy, you'll never find anybody uh, more humble than that. I was, uh, when I gave that speech in uh, Los Angeles for the Foundation for the Study of Cycles in 1992, when they moved their office down there, their new spaceship type office, Peter was there as a guest and uh, we had a nice chat and a glass of wine and we were joking about it. And then when I made the mistake of marking on the, the uh, screen with the indelible pencil, <laughs> he, he got a kick out of that and he said, well, he said, that's a new one for me. Anyway, guys, I tell you, it's just so many memories when I was watching this video. I said I have to share some of the things with you regarding TFNN. Uh, let's try it again, Larry. FNN in Los Angeles. It was started by Glenn Taylor and Merrill Lynch in a joint venture, and it stayed together until Merrill Lynch pulled out the pulled out of the thing, and then it sort of folded. And that was in the 1990. I think it was 1991. And guess what happened? Sue Herrera went to uh, to New York to NBC to try to resell that program because we had really good really good ratings in the Los Angeles area. We just couldn't get uh, any advertisers. And so CNBC 
CNBC uh, said, yep, I think that's what we're going to do. And they started uh, CNBC, and that was it. And she made history, and that was good. She and Glenn Taylor were an item at one time until uh, Sue met uh, my good friend uh, Jay Crosp, and then they became an item. But those are days, my gosh, those history days I can't remember. Anyway, let's move on. Now, that was the same thing. Now, if we move on to this, and we'll take a look at this, this is what we're watching right here. And this is something that's interesting, too, because you'll notice here on March the 4th, if you calculate the number of days in this, that means on March 4th, there's going to be a significant bottom in the stock market. In 1987, that was the single best buying opportunity of the 1980s. That was an exact to the tick, I mean, you couldn't shade it with a razor blade of a 61% retracement from the August 9th, 1982 in the stock market. I defy you to go back and look at that and prove it to yourself if you want to believe in Fibonacci numbers, okay? So that's what we're looking here. We got a possibility of a big move down, which will be some great buying opportunities. One thing we know is that the volatility is going to go wacko. It's already going wacko. It's going to go wacko squared. So just get ready, folks, because this is a wild puppy that's out there. And it's just now, you know, remember, uh, we're in the year of the tiger, and the tiger likes to rowl at TFNN. So that's going to be a really big one to remember. Now, is this going to happen? Nobody knows that. All we're doing is saying, take a look at the numbers. If this market closes sharply higher today, strongly indicative that that's not going to happen. Look at this at the comparison here. This was done way back when by somebody. I kept it just to just to show the relationships. You can see the relationship between 1987 and 1929. He's got it as 55 days. Peter had it as 56. But uh, that it's it's only one day off, so it's really not much difference. But you can see what's going on. You can see the same type of pattern unfolding. Now, only pattern recognition paper, people will look at this, boys and girls. You know, that's what I think anyway. And uh, I don't know. That's just what I'm showing you today. I want to give you a rough example of it. And I'm also going to give you a little bit of a caveat. Hold on one second. I want to get it right here. Where's old caveat? Charlie caveat. Where are you, Charlie? Here you are. This is the first one right here. <laughs> this is from the ec the the economic magazine. <laughs> there when the ride ends, what would happen if the stock market crashed? This was done on the tenth of the tenth of February, the twelfth of February. Uh, just uh, well, that's coming out now. This is the week, the week of February twelfth to the eighteenth. When you see stuff like that, that that means it's not going to happen. So that's a big caveat on here. The close today will be very important. We close really bad. The odds favor, like uh, Louis Pasteur said, chance favors the prepared mind so you know sort of sort of be prepared with this because i think it's got a a really important thing to uh, uh to happen if of course it does i want to give you a couple other caveats here this has happened before this was done i found this i saved this just in case it worked and of course it didn't but here's look at the relationship we had in 1987 to what we had back in 2017 and what did the dow do it just kept uh, tragging along, didn't it? Okay, a little bit different than what we're looking at right now because we're looking at two sets of data sequences, 38 days and 56 days. The problem is we've only got two samples. <laughs> That's another giant problem. So the main thing here is what will close, how it closes today. If the stocks close really strong, you'll have to think, well, maybe we're wrong on this. But the key day was yesterday. That was the 38th day. That was similar. The difference here, let me show you the difference here from what, what we were looking at in 1987. And this is what Shane is looking at. These are the astral things. We had the big harmonic convergence right at the top. The market came down to the solar eclipse and then right up into the uh, uh, 618 retracement, which was a Venus squared Uranus. And remember, the Venus squared Uranus is the Fibonacci cycle because the Venus takes... 256 days to go around the earth which is 0.6 exactly 0.618 of a year and so that's what happened and what you want to watch for is the key coming down in about you know six or seven days which would be early next week we got a holiday on the uh on the 22nd so uh, that'll that'll be long before this happens because by this happens we should be sharply lower by the 22nd and uh, if that's the case, so it's the, the time, the timing is there, whether it's going to work or not, 
you know, I don't really know. We've got uh, George from Tampa, Florida. George, how are you? Oh, just fine. How are you doing today? I'm very good, my friend. What can I do for you today? I'm looking at getting into UNJ for trade. I mean, UNG, excuse me. Okay. Natural gas? Yes. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I, what, I, I, I wanted to know what I, you thought about it. Okay. I have some thoughts about it. Sometimes my thoughts are not right. I've got a chart here, unless I was so focused on the uh, stock market today that I. Uh, I've got it right here. Okay, I'll post, I'll post it up here for you, George. You'll, let me get it up here. You'll be able to see it. Now, this is a uh, – it's only a 15-minute chart, but it covers the last days down, these really strong days. We made a perfect retracement at uh, 402, which hit 404, I believe. But 402, 404 was a 382. We've now come down, and we've tested the 390 again. George? If you get above, if you're going to buy it, uh, I would wait three days. And the reason why is this stock market has a tense chance to really get salt and peppered. So give yourself the weekend, okay, to think about it. I was trying to get in at like 12.98, uh, right in that area. Where is it now? Uh, 13. Wait, 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 wait three days, George, okay? Wait three days. Okay. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back, folks. 877 Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, uh, we'll have hopefully Norm here in just a few minutes to give his Super Bowl prediction, and we're going to have him on. His birthday is next, uh, the 17th, uh, which is right after the new moon, so that's going to be an interesting one to look at, but I don't know if we can make it there or not. Let's go to the gold market for here just a little bit. Uh, yesterday, excuse me, I wanted to get to copper first. Hold on, I wanted to talk about copper. Somebody asked about copper here. You'll notice here that we had this really nice 78% level. We went about two cents above it. Then we had a pretty sharp break in here. Copper is known as Dr. Copper with the stock market. So if copper is going to be good, get ready because it could really uh, move to the upside. Okay, now the next one that uh, someone's asked about, and, and folks, before I get to that, oh, here's the question they asked about. How, how, hold on, this might be Mr. Norm calling in now. Guess who we have on the line, boys and girls? None other than he calls it to the minute, Mr. Norman Winsky of Astro Tens, the one of the greatest predictors of the Super Bowl ever invented. Norm, how are you today, buddy? Great. Thanks for having me on, Larry. Sorry about my internet outage. You know, been no, going no, on two okay. days. That was crazy. We understand. So anyway, that I want I want to come on at this time so, so we could uh, I could forecast what uh, three uh, every February I have what I call the February uh, forecast for fun fest where I use three forecasting models and uh, I'll go over those now. So first we're going to talk about Chinese astrology. By the way, don't don't bet grandma's farm on any of this stuff. You know, it's just for fun. And uh, there you go. <laughs> and so uh, we have the Chinese astrology. The uh, new year began for the in the Chinese on February 1 with the new moon, as you probably know, Larry. And last year, for example, it was the year of the ox. And I found some of the Chinese astrologers on the Internet there, and they said on average historically the stock market should move up 12.3% and the S&P went up 26.9% in last year. Now we're going to move on to the, uh, by the way, and this year, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. And then now they're saying this year is the year of the tiger. So keep in mind, this is the year of the tiger. Now we're going to talk about the January barometer, which is an age-old uh, Wall Street adage, as January goes, so goes the year. If January closes up, we're likely to 75% probability based on statistical research going back to 1950. That's about 70 years. Uh, it works 75% of the time. If January's up, the market we should have an up year. If January's down, we should have a down year. Now, there's the Super Bowl indicator, which, you know, for those who are uh, football fans or maybe you're not in the U.S., uh, the NFL, that's our big football league here, and it's divided into two conferences, NFC and AFC. NFC is bullish, AFC is bearish. Uh, by the way, the January barometer is accurate about 75% of the time. I don't know if I said that. The only thing more accurate than that is the Super Bowl indicator. I know it sounds crazy, but that is those are the numbers. This goes back to the first Super Bowl, I believe, in 1967. And when the NFC teams, that's bullish, the market would tend to close up. If the AFC team wins, the market closes down for the year. And now we have a, a great thing I put together where because these two models are basically forecasting the same thing and they both have a high percentage batting average, they should coincide a high percentage of time. And the January barometer is done at the end of January, but the Super Bowl is usually played in February. It will be played this Sunday the 13th. So that means that the January barometer should be able to forecast who's going to win the Super Bowl. And so this year... Uh, the the uh, the Super Bowl. Yeah, you have the NFC uh, champion as the Los Angeles Rams are going to play the Cincinnati Bengal Tigers, and the and the Bengals have been underdogs all through the playoffs and keep winning, and now they're in the Super Bowl. So if they should happen to win, this is all these the, these three forecasting models would converge. It would be amazing. You know, that's that's it. So. If you got a spare buck, don't bet grandma's farm. Uh, you can. I, I would go with the tigers. You know, and it's also forecasting that a down year for the stock market. Any questions, well, Larry? Well, that's good enough for me. And uh, I talked to grandma about the farm, and she says, "Forget about it." She says she's sticking with cryptocurrencies. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen. As soon as you're free next week, uh, let us know. I'll, I'll work around it to get you on because we like to hear what you have to say. And of course, uh, how many how many years have you been doing the indicator, and how often has the Super Bowl indicator worked? What percentage? Uh, 
I don't know how many years I've been doing it, but it goes back. You can Google it. And it goes and they start. Somebody figured it out. And this, you know, the first you know first Super Bowl I think it was 1967, mm-hmm. and it's uh, got about an 80 percent uh, accuracy. Okay, well, that's good enough for me. Hey, listen, yeah. thanks for joining us, buddy, and be safe. And I hope we get your internet working pretty soon. Me too. Thanks a lot. Have a, everybody have a great weekend. Okay, we'll see you next week, Norm. Bye bye. And happy bye. birthday, by the way. Next Thursday's your birthday. I think it's your 39th, isn't it? That's it. 39 yes. every year. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. See you later. Just me, okay. me and Jack. You know, Jack's birthday was the 14th. Jack Benny, right? yeah. Hey, listen. Okay. Thanks a lot, pal. All right. All right we're thanks gonna, a lot. Bye. You, we'll get back to, I wanted to show this here about someone asked, is this still following the COVID thing that we looked at that was very similar to that? Yes, it is. But the days, instead of being a four-day rally, it ended up being a 10-day rally. But it stopped instead at the 50%. It stopped exactly at the 61% retracement. So the, the figure is correct. The question is, it's got to close lower uh, today. I mean, well, it could close higher, but it can't be sharply higher. If we go back if we go back too much farther than that, hold on just a second here. I'm getting a image from our good friend, Mr. Shane Smolian here, and he might have something that I can use today. And uh, and I, by golly, I I guess it's okay. Yeah, here's what uh, here's what Mr. Uh, hold on just a second. Uh, I can't post it up because I can't get it out of the system to to do it correctly and change it. So uh, and. All right, let's uh, folks. Folks, there's a quick well, there's a quick way of losing money in this business. <laughs> you know, I just I just saw uh, Maria post something uh, in the uh, in the room here. But let me let me give you some you know just a, in, this is sort of inside information. So bear with me here one second, why I can get this up here. And now here's what I want to show you right here, and it's coming in. Where are we at here? Got to go down just a little bit because it's down near the bottom. If you want a quick way of losing money, boys and girls, this is it. Okay, hold on. Start trying to pick a bottom. Start trying to pick a bottom in the uh, in the bond market, folks. We are we are going down in the bonds. We're going to go down for a long time. The the, the pick the piece. Oh, 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 wow. Shut the front door. Raise the rent. Billy Ray's a happy boy. Hold on one sec. Somebody just gave me my feel back. Hold on just a second. Uh, I want to get this up here to take a quick look. And I have I have one other Peter Lighty story that's really funny. Uh, let's get this up here. Uh, this is what I posted this morning here. I said, if we open higher in the Russell, Russell index, I said, get short. And we went up to the 61% retracement. This is a perfect Gartley sell signal. This has so many patterns on it, folks, that you just can't believe. We have a beautiful 135 one, pattern. One is November. Three, okay, that is January, and four, that is February. It's a one, three, five. The symmetry between one, three, and five is right on the money. And look at the three, eight, two of the high with an A, B, C, D. Boys and girls, if Mr. Gartley was here, he would be saying, this looks like a bearish market, my son. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I wanted to get back to this Dow Jones chart from 1987 because there's so many similarities to what we have today. Uh, the low that you're looking at back here on the solar eclipse day, which was the um, September the 26th, and uh, that would be equivalent to when we were trading at 4,200 in the S&P. So we're far away. We're 4,460 or 4,470, whatever today, or whatever the low was there. But if we get below that, that would be another trigger that this could be pop. This could be happening. That's what I'm going to be following because then it would be telling me that that's what's going to happen. There's more to this chart here that, from history point, that it's very important. After that high was made on October the second of 1987 I had these options on because Laren was going to an eastern school it was going to be very expensive for medical school and I had to cough up some dough to the tune of about uh, six uh, six digits uh, for a couple years and so I had to make enough money on this trade to uh, cover that and that on that day of the 16th when it closed down 104 points I covered all of that plus about 14 grand and I was really happy the next day Saturday was uh, a big wedding uh, one of the Pierce uh, Merrill Lynch Pierce Smith Merrill Lynch Pierce, Fenner, and Smith, Mr. Smith's granddaughter up in Templeton was getting married, and there was a huge party, and uh, John Raffoni and I were invited to it, and it was really spectacular. They had everything that you could possibly imagine. It was really fun, and they had a, uh, uh, was it, which one of the comedians was it that was... Uh, Oh, I'll think of it in a second. But anyway, they had a little band there. It was really cool. And then Sunday, Eddie Horowitz was getting married in Bel Air at the Bel Air Country Club. And I was taking Jill down to it because uh, she was a big fan of Eddie. And uh, and she loved anything related to the Jewish faith because they had so much fun. He was having this huge wedding. And so I went down for that. Peter Lighty's actually was the best man at the wedding for, for uh, Eddie. And Eddie's uh, nickname was Speedy. And the reason why they call him Speedy, he could answer he could give you the answers before you could ask him the questions. That's how quick he was. Uh, he slipped a lot now because he's 89 and uh, he's retired, but he's the one that got me uh, uh, on his docket to do expert witnessing. I did for a couple of years. I did about 30 cases. I only lost one out of 30. So we go down to the wedding and gosh, everybody in the financial industry uh, that was anybody was there. Well, uh, it was really quite a P PK wall was there. Oh my gosh. I can't think of everybody. Walt Bressert was there. 
Uh, just so uh, Peter, uh, what's his name? Uh, Paul Tudor Jones was not there because he was still in New York. He wanted to come but couldn't. And there were a whole bunch of them. There was about 200 guests and everything. And uh, that day, when uh, part of the Jewish wedding is they lift up the uh, the the groom on a on a uh, chair, and then he makes a toast. And his toast was, "Here's to everybody who's long the stock market. You're going to need a lot of help tomorrow." And that was on Sunday. And then by golly, on Monday, you can see what happened. I never did forget get that comment and the, the Dow was down um whoo it was down 560 points in one day and that's when it was trading at 2600 the previous day so and that was the best buying opportunity of the 1980s so if something like this happens again we're probably going to have something good but we're going to be following it to see if it makes any sense if we close sharply higher today we'll just destroy this youtube thing and we won't have to listen to it anymore but if it happens to work and if it happens to work then that'll be something. This time I don't have to worry about putting anybody through medical school anymore. So I, at least I can enjoy, uh, I can go to the uh, proverbial, uh, well, I won't even mention that because I'm going to get in trouble. Let's just move back here. Just one other thing that I wanted to cover here. Uh, just one second. I've got it up here. I just can't find the darn thing. Hold on. I've covered the COVID. I've covered the 29, covered ABCD. Oh, here we go. we got to get back to what's happening over in Europe. Here we go. Here we got. We don't want to forget our friends across the pond because they got some really great stuff. You'll see here that we have a Gartley farming here in the, the DAX on a 15-minute uh, chart, just like we did in the S&P. This is very similar. It's... Uh, it's really hard to pick a head and shoulders here because there's no really left shoulder that I can define. But it is certainly a Gartley pattern. It's got everything related to the ABCD that you could possibly ask for. And I believe that Mr. Uh, Hugard is pump, popping it today pretty hard. So we'll see what else is going on here. Let's take a look at the FTSE. Uh, this one here is a also a 15-minute chart. Because you get some really nice swings on this. You'll notice here that we also have a Gartley forming here in the, uh, and it's lower top. So that's another thing that over the past few days, it's lower tops. That's another reason why you got to be careful. Folks, I don't know if this darn thing's going to work or not. But the fact that uh, it's only happened twice before is a very strong negative. Also, having that economist thing uh, posted, I would rather say the, the I would like to see them saying that you that the uh, the roller coaster is not anywhere near the top. I would love to see that, but I'm not seeing that. It's saying what would happen if the stock market. Well, <laughs> if that happens, you know that that would be one of the rare things that the people saw it ahead of time, and that was uh, really surprising. I got that one. Uh, from uh, Peter uh, this morning to just show me that that was, uh, you know, a potential negative to it. Plus the other one that we looked at where people are always watching for it. But there, there's some symmetry here, folks, and that's the main thing we want to watch. If the symmetry holds up, you know, we got something to look at. If we don't have the symmetry then, you know, what are you going to do? you got to figure out that there's something wrong. But right now, right as we stand, right as we're here today on Friday, uh, market's down a little bit, I guess, but you'll notice here we had 38 days. That came in yesterday, folks. Now I I didn't even check. Uh, I didn't even check to see if there was a move. If there was any really, I should have doggone it. If there was anything related astrologically that happened either on the ninth or tenth, like a Venus Uranus aspect or something like that, then then I would have really I would have I've gotten I would have gotten more bearish than I already am if that's possibly, and I don't think that's possible. But anyway, th this is what I'm looking at right now. So if that's the case, we've got. We've got how many calendar days, folks? We've got 16 calendar days to get down to March 16th. Now, a lot of things are going to happen between now and then, so we want to keep a close eye of how it rolls. Because if we close really strong today, and I mean really strong, would be the the S and P closing up about uh, say it closed it closed at 44.63 last night to close it at 45. Anything above 45.20, 45.30 would say, uh oh, maybe this isn't going to work. But if it closes lower, like below 4450, uh, then I'd say, well, eh, I wouldn't want to be long this thing. So that's what I'm watching here as I look at this. I know Shane is listening. And Shane, if is there anything related on the uh, the uh, ninth, the ninth or tenth that would astrologically uh, close to that Venus Uranus relationship? If you would, hey, why don't you call in if you see something? That would be great. Because I know you do the best astrological stuff that I've seen related to the market, along with Tim Bost and 
and, and Norman and all the other folks. But uh, if you see anything that happened on that date, that would be really good because I just do the patterns. I'm, I'm a pattern person. I keep it as simple as possible, and that's all I try to do. I don't want it to make any more difference than it possibly can. Uh-oh. And then we'll take a look at this. It says, uh, yeah, there was, but uh, he said it's uh, something that he'd rather keep to himself. And I don't blame him. He's got some good stuff. Say something. Say something. What do you want me to say? Oh, <laughs> Nice try. Hey, David, why don't you say something? You can call in and ask a question. You know everything anyway. You're Mr. Google. Hey, let's take a break here. You don't have to listen to me for a few more minutes. Who loves you? Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I got a message from uh, Shane. He was just unable to communicate with us at that time, but he will cover that aspect uh, coming in on Monday. There's not any top secret kind of stuff. It's, uh, you know, that's what we're watching here for uh, taking it, you know, look to see where it's going to go. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll cover that when we have Shane on the line come uh, uh, when we call it uh, Monday. Now, remember, we're down quite a bit now in the S&P. We're near the lows, uh, 44.72. The low was something over the last 63 or something overnight. The key is if it closes above 45, uh, 45, what do you call it, uh, 45.50, something like that, then this would be all of this would be highly suspect. Uh, 
and it probably won't work. But uh, other than that, we want to pay close attention to it. This is just a number of days counting, folks, that we're looking at. There's nothing super big astrological. It's just a day count. What I Back in the old days when I did this, I did it because of the astrological sequence. But this is just a day count that it, it matches up with what happened in 1929 and also what happened in 1987. You can get that through e, uh, either the posting that I put in the den here for Peter's uh, uh, YouTube. And then also it also is, uh, uh, let's see, it's on YouTube. And then I've been posting the charts, you know, through here today. So we'll be following them as we go through this, wherever it does. But remember, this thing could easily reverse. And heck, we could close above 1481 to 154581 today. And I would be eating uh, crow for the fourth time. But I do like crow very much, as a matter of fact, because if you put enough garlic and oregano on it, it's actually quite tasty. You've got to cook it just the right way. The way you do it is you take the crow and you get it nice and clean, make sure all the feathers are off. And then you have to wrap it really tightly in cow manure and then you take it in aluminum foil the crow and the cow manure and then you bury it for two days and then what you do is you open up the uh, the uh, aluminum foil and you take away the crow and eat the cow manure and that's the best way to do it anyway we'll be seeing you folks tomorrow Monday oh Monday's the day live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless <laughs>